Hey, Will with LV Performance. Uh, today what I'm going to show you is how to change the radiator in your Honda Civic. Um, this one will cover models I believe from 2001 to 2005. I'll be sure to put down in the description um, all the exact years that this covers. Um, this one is equipped with the 1.7 liter single overhead cam engine. Um, regardless of engine type or uh, model line you have your Civic, changing the radiator will be uh, essentially the same. Um, so the replacement for the hoses may be a little different, but what you have to go through to actually change the radiator itself will be the same. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna have to remove the uh, bumper cover so we can gain uh, access to our radiator in there a little bit better. Um, up top here, there's a few of these little uh, pushing clips like this. Just get in on the side right there. Just use a flathead screwdriver, you can pop them up. Be kind of careful with them because the age of them, they'll like to try to break. So just kind of work them as gently as you can. And then uh, get those ones popped up there. And then over on the sides here, we will have to undo it from the fender. This side I already have popped out. Um, there's one on each side, an eight millimeter uh, screw that goes up through there. And then uh, this one, um, traditionally, if your car has uh, proper fender liners and it's still not all eaten up, you'll have more to undo. Uh, this side does not. <laughs> um, but anyway, so there's one eight millimeter screw up there and then it has snaps that actually pop into there. I'll show you how to pull that out of there. Um, it's gotta be kinda easy with it, but they do pop out pretty uh, firmly. On this side, we have not undone it yet. I do have the uh, eight millimeter screw out of it. And then this one has a little bit more of the fender liner there, so I can show you. It also had one of those uh, big pop clips right there, and it has a screw that goes in right there. Um, that screw was missing on this one, so we'll put one back in for them. But uh, on this, once you have your screw out, See if I can do this one-handed. Um, just kind of pull out on it gently. There we go. And it just pops out. You see down in right there, there's those teeth on that bracket. And those actually are what snap up into uh, these portions of the bumper to keep it on there. And then there should be a few around the headlight area as well. Let's see if I can get that to... Uh, Pop off there. Just be as careful as you can, try not to rip the bumper cover. Um, as you see, I kind of got my arm in behind the bumper trying to push on it, keep even pressure. So kind of similar. These ones up here are a metal bracket, but it still pops into those same style holes to kind of retain it in there. So this whole side of our bumper is loosened up. This is hanging there. So I'll have to do the same with this side. Um, just be careful once you get the, uh, going on the second side, because once you do that, the whole bumper cover is gonna try to fall off. So um, just make sure you got it supported good um, so you don't get it all damaged or scratched up. All right, so we have the bumper cover totally removed. And it's sitting over there. Uh, now would actually be an excellent time to uh, drain your radiator. Um, there is a nice little uh, drain valve right there, also referred to as the petcock. Um, you don't have to pull it all the way out. <laughs> you can you can leave your cock halfway in, um, but you undo that and it'll start to uh, run out of there so it can start draining while you're uh, getting ready to do everything else. Um, this one already had some issues, so there wasn't a whole lot in it. Um, but now we can get under here and we can undo some of our other hoses. Um, so we have our uh, lower radiator hose and then some of our uh, transmission lines that go to it as well. Um, this one is an automatic, so if you have a manual, um, you won't have these hoses, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so we can go through that, start getting these disconnected, and then undo our upper radiator hose. And then uh, we'll be on to uh, moving the condenser over a little bit so we can get some room and then uh, trying to get this out. Um, also unplugging the fans. Um, we'll swap over the fans and everything most likely while the radiator is out. Alright, so we got our lower hose off there. Got both of our transmission cooler lines off. Um, those don't take anything special. Just a little squeeze clamp and then just push the hose back. So we got those off of there. Uh, we did put our little, uh, our tiny little cock back in there so it'll stop dripping everywhere. And we are done under here. Now we will lower it back down. Uh, where we can undo the upper radiator hose, unplug the fans, and then move the condenser forward just a little bit so we can pull the radiator up and out. All right, so we have our upper hose off of here. Um, did also unbolt the uh, coolant reservoir. There's one 10 millimeter bolt that goes right there, and then it just sits down 
in the lower portion of it, you'll see it's got a little finger that kind of sits down in there. Um, unbolted that from the radiator housing because, or for the fan shroud, I should say, because um, when we try to lean this forward, that part would actually hit and keep it from leaning out. So unbolt that there so it can stay there and be out of the way and doesn't get damaged. Um, then we have to unplug our, both of our fans. We have those undone right here. This one right there and this one right there. This regular squeeze clip and pops out. Um, they are kind of firm, so careful with that. Um, and then we do have one other, it's hard to see down in here, one spot where the wiring goes around the side of the fan shroud, going to a different, uh, looks like some of the AC components. Um, we will have to release this little tab that holds the wiring there. And then there's one more connector down there. Um, we'll see if we can get to that one a little bit easier once we get this kind of laid forward a little bit. And these are the brackets that we will be undoing for the uh, AC condenser. So I got a 10 millimeter on each side. Those little brackets will come up off there. And the same for the radiator. It's 10 millimeter on each side and those brackets come off there. And then what we'll be able to do is actually lay the uh, condenser forward just a little bit. And that'll give us some room to lay the radiator that way. And hopefully get it pulled up and out of there a little easier. Okay, so we have our radiator assembly out of the car. The uh, condenser, we lifted it up, set it, because uh, on the bottom of it, it just sits down in these little holes down here. We lifted it up, kind of placed it forward. It is kind of sitting down on this side a little bit. Um, as long as you don't move it too much, you're not going to hurt anything. You just don't want to start really wrenching on the lines. Um, but just like that, it's just fine. There's my 10 mil that I dropped earlier. Thank you. Um, anyway, so did all that. Uh, for that bracket that was down on the side for that connector, it actually has a very small Phillips head screw. Um, so once I got the radiator kind of pulled up about halfway up out of there, you're able to uh, get to it. And it actually just screws right there. And you can undo that bracket and get that off of there. Uh, so now we will be swapping over the fan setups onto our new radiator and double checking making sure everything is the same on it oh uh, when you are pulling this up out of here um, it is a little bit of a tight squeeze especially with this uh, hood release right there but it actually uh, will slide right between the two fans so just uh, wiggle it a little bit and uh, it comes out of there fairly easily nothing uh, nothing too crazy all right we have everything swapped over onto our new radiator assembly uh, some of these will come without the new fittings and you will have to swap them over off of your old one. This one did come with uh, brand new fittings, so when you're putting them on, just try to pay attention to the orientation of how the other ones are set on there. That way, once you get it in there, everything uh, goes back on just the way it was before. Um, sometimes on these bottom bushings, they will stay in the car. And sometimes they'll come out with the radiator. These ones both came out with the radiator, so just make sure to swap those back over. Uh, fans are pretty easy. You just sit down into the little feet right there. Two 10 millimeter bolts on each one. And then always uh, double check, make sure they do spin freely, not bound up against anything or installed incorrectly. That way you don't have an issue uh, later on you're trying to find. All right, we got most of our radiator stuff all hooked back up. Now we're getting the bumper cover back on. Um, when you do, if you have two people, it definitely helps. Um, hardest part is just making sure you get these lined back up correctly. So you can see Hard to see in the video, but you can see your witness marks against your clips right there. And all this has to lip in between those. Give it a good pop. Sometimes it takes a little more. Kind of the same way, but these ones are plastic clips. Just get that set up right. Snap in. We can go ahead and put in our screws, put in your uh, fender liner retainers if you have them. All right, getting everything installed. Always uh, double check, make sure that uh, woo, bubbles. Uh, make sure that anything you touched, you did uh, reconnect. If you don't have one of these cool uh, uh, funnels, slash, uh, excellent for uh, burping these things as well. Um, this one is a Lyle one. You can get pretty much anywhere. I got this one off Amazon. Uh, part number is a two four six eight zero has all kinds of uh, cool adapters to adapt to almost any type of cooling system and uh, really uh, makes it a lot easier and a lot cleaner when you're trying to do these. Make sure you start it up, burp the system as best you can, you know, um, take it for a drive, make sure everything's good. 
I'm not gonna say burp it as best you can. It needs to be burped properly. Um, yeah. All right, so we're all done with the radiator install on the Civic. Um, this one is pretty simple, you know, real straightforward. The hardest part is just getting the bumper cover off of it and everything and just making sure you don't hurt anything with that. Um, real simple. Um, always go through and double check everything that you have touched. Make sure all the fans are plugged in properly. Make sure all your connections are good. Make sure your clamps are on tight. Like I said, that's the time to double check, you know, when you're going to start on this job. Check all your hoses and everything. We did lose a little bit of uh, transmission fluid from the cooler lines that go into the bottom of the radiator. Uh, you can guesstimate you could probably lose about a half a quarter or so through those lines and then what will also be residual inside the old radiator when you swap it over so you definitely want to check your transmission fluid before you run the car or you know while it's at uh, idling at temperature make sure you don't need to top it off or anything but like I said as long as you don't let it drain for a long time about half a quarter or so is all you're gonna lose uh, we did go through and uh, burp this one as best we could and then we did take it for a short drive up the road brought it back let it cool down made sure that it was topped off and made sure that our uh, coolant bottle is at the proper level uh, ran the heater on high and everything making sure it has good circulation the heater does work good temperature gauge comes up doesn't fluctuate at all so always make sure of everything like that make sure you don't have any leaks anywhere um, though it is unlikely make sure that the new radiator you got isn't leaking anywhere before you go on any long trips uh, so overall just always double check everything and uh hope this video helps if there's anything we did not cover on this job that you have a question on or anything else about this job um, go ahead and message us so if there's a way that we can help you out with anything else you're working on um, we'd love to help if we can um, all right thanks for watching uh, i feel like there was something else i wanted to say